I've had three things immediately come into my mind, so I've got to cut them down to one. As your business grows, bring in professional people so that ultimately you've got a professional salesperson on board. You've got a professional operations leader that manages all of the day-to-day functional, you know, delivery of whatever it is that you do to your customer. And you've got a professional finance person on board so that you can make sure that your numbers are all correct. You can get forecasts, all your filings are done, et cetera, et cetera. And you can hire those people on a fractional basis as your business grows. So it might be, you know, you hire your salesperson three days a week and you hire your ops person 50% of the time and you hire your finance person one day a week or, or whatever it is as, as, in, you know, as the business uh, is growing. But ultimately, as you grow up to that kind of a threshold, you, you'll be in a position where you can afford to bring those people on full time. And that allows you as the founder to step up and to step back. Stepping up means you get out of the day-to-day weeds and you focus on the business, not in it. And stepping back is part of the first step of ultimately getting to the point where you have a business that runs without you needing to be in it. And I know some founders find that scary, but that's got to be your, your ultimate aim unless you, wanted, unless you want the business to be your job for the rest of your life. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my one piece of advice. Great summary. I love it. David, if people want to reach out to um, talk to you more about your, your ideas and strategies, and if we've got a £2 million business that's, that's interested in working with you, how can they find out more information? How can they contact you? 